back with another rolled paper flower tutorial. However, today I'm going to take you step by step in Inkscape on how to make your own rolled paper flower SVG files. Hi, welcome to my craft room. My name is Kelsey and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to walk you step by step in Inkscape, a free software on how to make your own rolled paper flower SVG files. We're gonna go through three different ways that I have learned to make rolled paper flowers. And I think that this is pretty much a easy concept to do. It's really only two kinds. So I'm hoping that this tutorial will unlock some doors for you to make your own SVG files today. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I bring you new crafty tutorials every single week. And you can find the link to my blog down below in the description where I have over 800 free SVG files that I add to all the time, as well as tutorials for making your own SVGs. Let's get started in Inkscape. Okay, so we are going to go over to our spiral tool on the side. You're going to click and drag out to make your spiral. Now up top, it'll do your turns, your divergence. So let's just sh show you what that does. So your turns is gonna give you more ways around. I like to stick around three. And then your divergence is going to be how much space is in between those spirals. You have your spiral where you want it, you know, your inner radius. I like to keep mine relatively high because we're gonna add our circle into the center where we're going to attach our flower. So I'm gonna leave my spiral just like this. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is make your actual petal. So for the petal, to start, I'm just going to grab a circle. You can make this any size, any shape. Um, it is not a path yet, so we have to change it. You're going to go up to the top path, object to path, and you see the circle and the square went away, but if you go into nodes, you have nodes now. So just for the sake of this flower, I'm going to add on some nodes by double clicking, and I'm just going to change my shape around. You can do whatever you want here make it however you like. Um, my suggestion, if you're new to making flowers, making SVG files, play around. You can change um, your distribution, you can change anything. So I'm gonna make a shape like this. It's kind of like a rose petal, I guess. And then what you wanna do is you want to flatten out the bottom. So you can add on a piece here, but that's gonna give you some spacing. So you have to definitely test these out. Even if it doesn't add spacing, you should test them out but I'm gonna go pretty far up with this rectangle. And what I'm gonna do is grab both, I'm gonna to go to path, and I am going to difference those. Then from there, I'm just gonna kind of drag it out. And you can, of course, grab this and bring it down and adjust these however you see. Again, this is your flower. So I like the way this petal looks, it's good. I'm gonna go back to my select mode up top, and I'm just gonna make this a little smaller and I'm gonna make sure it kind of fits in between those lines and gives me a decent amount of space. You can of course also make them wider or shorter, whatever you'd like. Now from here, you're going to wanna be on your spiral, go path and then path effects down at the bottom. I'm using a Mac, so it might be different for you. And on the side, it's gonna pop up this panel. I'm gonna do my drop down and do pattern along path. Now you're going to want to copy your petal. So I closed out, go back over here to my spiral and you're going to change to repeated and then you are going to paste path. And now we have our petals on our spiral. Your last thing that you want to do is go to a dynamic offset, go back into node mode and just drag up ever so slightly. You don't want to drag it up too much but you do wanna have them connected. So I like the way that that looks. I think it's great. I'm gonna add in a color at the bottom. I am going to remove the stroke and then I'm just going to grab a circle. I'm gonna drag it out so that's a perfect circle by holding control and I am going to attach these. You just go to path when you have both of them selected and hit union and now you have a rolled paper flower SVG file. Okay, so to save this, you're just gonna go file, save, and I leave mine as an Inkscape SVG. I'm just gonna do rolled flower, and now we can go and upload this into Cricut Design Space. So here I have my rolled flower, and I'm just gonna change the size to about four. You can change the size however you want, but I am gonna test this. I always suggest when you're making your rolled flowers to test them. So I do have two in here already that I'll show you in a minute but let's go ahead and test this. So I like the way that 
this one turned out. I'm not going to make any adjustments, but let me show you two more flowers that I made with Inkscape. So here we have the same setup. You're going to grab a spiral again, adjust anything that you need to inside the spiral with the divergence, etc. And then of course, make your petal. Now I want to show you how you can use a rectangle at the bottom to flatten it out, but this is going to give you some weird spacing. So you definitely have to be testing these. So I'm grabbing a rectangle and I'm making sure that the edges aren't rounded. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to change it to about 1.75 and then we are going to center those. The last thing we have to do is union. Here we are, and we're gonna go back to our same thing. Path effects, pattern along path, repeated, copy my petal, go back to my path, paste. Now, Again, this looks a little bit large, but I'm actually gonna leave it because I think it's doable. I'm gonna do my dyna dynamic offset and I'm gonna drag. And this one I'm not gonna drag very much. I'm just gonna drag it a little. And you don't want any of those lines to overlap. Like this, obviously, you don't want that. But even here, your Cricut will cut this as one piece. You wanna make sure you have a good defining outline between each layer. That way it's a spiral. Once you have it where you want, and I'm gonna go like this, I'm actually gonna remove the stroke down at the bottom, which gives us even more space. Once you have this done, the last thing you need to do is add in your circle center. So I'm gonna grab a circle, I'm gonna pop it right here. And now I don't really love this last little petal here. And what you can do, I'm gonna go back to before we even did the dynamic offset and it's still technically a spiral, you can just unspiral it with this here. So I am in node mode here and you can just unspiral it and I'm gonna unspiral it to right about there. And we're gonna go back to path, our dynamic offset. And again, I'm just doing a little bit. I'm gonna add in a fill, remove my stroke, I love it. And now I'm going to add in my center. I'm holding control and dragging out a circle. And now I am just going to adjust the size here a little bit and I'm going to attach this here. So now to do that, I have both my circle and my spiral, path, union, delete your original petal. And now you've made a rolled flower SVG file. Now here I'm going into node mode you can, if you'd like to, add in a node here and delete these. I'm just going to go like that and you can adjust as you need. So there we are. Playing around with nodes is a great way to learn how to use Inkscape. But right now, let's make a really simple rolled flower that has the humps, like your traditional rolled paper flower. And the beginning steps are exactly the same. You're gonna do a circle and here all I'm going to do is I am just going to take a rectangle and bring it out right in the middle. I'm gonna grab both of those, go path, and I'm gonna go difference. That leaves us with a half circle. I am going to make it longer and I'm going to make it shorter like this, and then I'm just gonna make it smaller. Again, we're just trying to fit it in here. So I'm just gonna make it smaller. And we're gonna do that exact same thing. So I'm gonna go copy, Go here, my path effects over on the side. Do your drop down menu, pattern along path, repeated, you don't want the stretch, and paste. And there you go. And from here, you could do that same thing. Go path, dynamic offset, go into node mode, and drag it out. And now you have another rolled flower. They're very simple to make once you know what you are doing. So I'm gonna remove the stroke, go here, delete that. I'm gonna delete my little hump. While I was over in Cricut Design Space with this, I realized I forgot my center, so make sure you're adding in your circle. Again, I grabbed a circle and used control to drag it out. I place it right in the center of my rolled flower. I grab both and I go path union. Make sure you save this again and then upload into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I have both of my rolled flowers uploaded into Cricut Design Space and my 
thing to you is to absolutely test these. Don't just assume because they look right on Cricut Design Space that they're going to actually work and make a flower because I've made quite a few of these now and let me tell you, not all of them test properly. Like the flower petals kind of look weird or the spacing is weird. So make sure you're testing all of the things that you're making because even though I showed you some of the different petal shapes here, I'm not guaranteeing that the petal shape you make is going to work. So you definitely want to be testing. And by that, I mean, say you've made a shape and you're using it for a project and you're like, I need 50 of these. Don't cut out 50 of them. Cut out one of them and test it. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to send it over to my machine and I am going to cut this out with like the paper I have the most color of because I don't want to waste anything that I might use a lot of. And so always, always, always test your stuff. So I am going to roll both the rounded flower and the one that has the gap, just so you can see the difference between the two. But yours is going to end up looking different, of course, because you made a different petal shape than I did. And so always test them out. This one that had the gaps in between them, I really had to focus on making sure the petals were kind of like overlapping those gaps. So that's just something to keep in mind, especially if you want to sell your SVG files, you just want to make sure they work properly. Thank you so much for joining me as we made our rolled paper flower SVG files. I hope you learned something new today. If you are new to SVG design, do not be intimidated. Start small and work your way up. I am in this with you. I still learn new things every day. And you know what? It's great, it's free, and it's okay if you mess up. If you learned something today, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe to my channel if you want new crafty content every single week. And if you know somebody who has been wanting to try to make their own SVG files, someone who wants just free SVG files or to learn something crafty, don't forget to share this with your friends. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.